Hello everyone, Stars RJ here, and it's time to hit the scales of the game of Halo Master Chief Collection with Halo Reach. Next up, we're gonna go for Long Night of Solace. Yeah, I'm still I'm still pissed off with the whole Covenant Assault Carrier being hidden hidden in hidden in the desert kind of thing. You just can't hide that kind of thing. We have they, the UNSC have soft face scanners, they look for the sort of shit. Seriously, they, they look for the sort of shit. Now, someone that I was trying to explain it as um I don't know, as an only operation. Our is more devious than we imagined. That spire was indeed a teleporter linked to a cloaked Covenant supercarrier, a grave threat. Thankfully, help is imminent. Sixty percent of the UNSC fleet is en route to reach from existing deployments. The first battle group should arrive within forty-eight huh. hours. Forty-eight hours? That's imminent. Uh oh. Who's your money on this time? Her. You always pick her. Hmm. She's always had him dialed in. That thing's crushing us and we're waiting for backup. They'll be backing up a graveyard. All our nukes are either out system or went down with the ships that carry them. You're preaching to the converted. How converted? I know that look, Kat. You can say no. No. You don't even want to hear it? <laughs> Fine, I'll hear it. Remember that accident a couple of years back? Colony ship en route to Cygnus, 700 dead. Vaguely a slip space drive malfunction, right? Actually, it worked fine. The drive was mounted improperly after a service haul-out. When it fired, it teleported half the ship to oblivion. Uh, and this is relevant. How? A certain Covenant supercarrier could, with some assistance, suffer the same unfortunate accident. Even for you, Cat, that's... Inspired? Not the word I would use. What's going on? Go ahead. Explain. May I? Don't cut yourself. Objective? Destroy Covenant Carrier in geosynchronous orbit above us. Good sanctions, sir. What do you think? Method? A slip space drive in lieu of the nukes we don't have. Delivery system? Us. Solvable? Getting us up there. That and getting our hands on a slip space drive. Thank you for sharing. So, all we need is orbit-capable transport and the single most expensive piece of equipment made by man. As a soldier in the field, I couldn't possibly have access to those kinds of resources. That said, a good place to look might be, I don't know, the nearest non-existent launch site and the non-existent Sabre program dismissed by three administrations as preposterous rumor, and in which our newest member was certainly never a pilot. It's scary. You know that. All we need is a green light from Holland. Good luck with that. You're the one asking him. Alright, fine. Well, there's no way in hell he's gonna go for this. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the Gilligan cut. Facility. Any closer is too hot to land. Could be that, Commander. Move up the beach, Noble. Yep, hit the Gilligan cut. Here we are. First floor, alien speeded secret launch stations. So I'm gonna get a Magnum and an assault rifle. I'd rather have a DMR, thanks. And of course, freaking spirits. And here we go, Covenant crew coming in, and the music picks up. So apparently, yeah, apparently I'm a pilot. Yeah, apparently I'm a pilot of the, uh, save, of the Saber program, in the, from the Saber program, according to my file. Didn't know that part, but hey, guess what, I guess I... I guess when I signed up for this job, I didn't know what to expect. Didn't know what job, what I was supposed to be at, what I was supposed to be doing. I thought I was a really badass super soldier. You know, it turns out I'm a pilot. I mean, Master Chief's a pilot. You can fly a banshee. And a, and a hornet. Uh, 
Hallelujah! Green strike everywhere. Yeah, I love those anti-aircraft guns. They make such a satisfying sound. When you, when, you, when, you see, when you hear them firing, you know that whatever's gonna be, whatever gets hit by them is gonna get torn to shreds. It sounds like, I mean, some things are gonna get torn to shreds in this game, like, like I mentioned before, spirits don't get destroyed. Phantom can. The spirits, spirits do not blow up in the game. Concussion rifle. Nope, they hit me with a concussion rifle and then they run forward at me. Doesn't work for me, well, that's right. Well, that strategy doesn't work. Oh, hi there. Hello there. Killing themselves rather than run away. Yourself up. That's probably why you blew yourself up because there was a wraith right over there. Actually, no, wait, I think the uh, data pad is here. No? Probably on legendary. Yeah, probably a data pad somewhere. I mean, the rocket launcher sounds cool and stuff like that. So there it is. There's a data pad. <clears throat> when I first got here and worked in stasis, the ship was crawling with corners and dead walls. So crowded, I couldn't move and I had to fight to breathe. It's certainly motivated, but we have what it takes to follow through the opportunity to experience self. It's making the Unicorn without us in the wrong dormant Orion. Orion's like, just going to keep the secret. Read the launch and easy for our creators to see. Ah. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm going to use a sniper rifle here. Yeah, I think the guy killed him. Anyway. Launch team. Saber is prepped and ready for launch. What about you and Kat? You sure it's on its way with a Falcon? We'll exit the lap of the launch. Move. You heard it, Six. Let's go. Yeah. 
let's go into space. The next part is either going to be the best part of the game, or the best part of this level, or the most frustrating, difficult, annoying part. Last time I tried, though, it's very hard to fly this down thing. But it's only got better on legendary. I'm not sure if like, it's like a fluke or whatever. I can't remember how I did this on legendary. I remember when I played when I played this for the first time on Heroic in back when Halo Reach came out for the MCC. Back when I got the MCC, this part of the level was really, really frustrating to play. I think I proved on Legendary, so I'm not sure. First stage engine car phenomenal. Stage separation in three, two, one. Stage separation. Being, being tossed off this um, spacecraft. You think, you think by now the UNSC would have some sort of or some sort of ground to air capability. I mean, you can drop Pelican from orbit. I mean, getting it back up from orbit is a different story, but Pelicans can survive re-entry. I don't know. I'm thinking the gunship from, from Elysium. Global actual to Sabre Bravo 029. Over. Copy actual. Colonel Holland. Affirmative, Noble 5. Welcome to Operation Undercut. I'll be your control from here on out. Understood, Colonel. Noble 6, these Sabres have been customized for orbital defense. You may need to get reacquainted. Rendezvous at Anchor 9, the frigate Savannah, and the other Sabres as soon as you're ready. Barrel roll. Right, so we've got boosters, we got forklift controls, we've got mouse sensor and activity is high, we've got missiles, we've got shields, we've got hull, and we've got to make sure not to crash into things. Machine guns are online. Switch between machine guns. Unidentified contacts. Rockets. Savannah actual to Sabre teams. Be advised, we have bogeys inbound. Anchor 9 to all UNSC ships. Station defenses are down. Requesting combat support until we can bring them back online. Here we go, Six. Show them what you can do. Yeah, well, it's been a while since the last flew this thing, okay? Alright, we've got impulse drives coming in. Banshees! Rated for, rate for atmosphere, rated rate for, rate for, rate for space, for, for space flight. Okay, and also the fact that the interface is not very... Oh, hi, hi, that's my friend! That's a friendly! Yeah, the, um... Banshee the rate of the space combat. Space banshees. Alright, and also, uh, I mentioned that the best, uh, the best opportunity is to take down an aircraft when they may be taken down one of their enemies. You can attempt to try to take down one of your teammates, so, yeah, keep an eye out. Two guns as well, but it takes forever Defensive to kill them. So the idea is, 
So yeah, the idea is you're supposed to shoot down their shields and then hit them with the rockets. That's the intent. You can just you can just use your guns. There's nothing against that. There's nothing against using the guns on them. Okay, we'll not bring it in on them. Third one. You know me. I was doing the um I'll turn the hand solo strategy, we're getting lazy to the left. Of course, we be careful of firing rock and holding down the fire button. Yeah, you fire a rocket, but no, they have no target. Yeah, Anchor liner to all craft in the vicinity. Be advised we show a large attack force inbound. Combat air patrol and saber teams are directed whoa, whoa, to engage at the almost. station. Okay, now this is where it gets, is this is where it gets dangerous. Problem, Anchor 9 to all UNSC ships. Station defenses are back online. Clear the lane. Light them up. Clear the lane? Oh no. I need a DPS over here. Where's my carry? Ah, where's the carry? Where's the carry? Where's my ADC? Get the ADC here. Yeah, this is why I... Okay, this is going to get... I'm just running in a hurry. Yeah, my shield's going to, shield's going to be constantly down. We've got pilot coverage going up, and shields are up. And my crosses are really out of heat. My crosses, my crosses are overheating. And you, know, and you know how I just cool stuff down in space? Yeah, exactly. You just can't really cool down stuff in space. It's space! A vacuum is not a cooling system! <laughs> That's what they told me in Anno 20, 2205! A vacuum is not a cooling system! Go! Oh yeah, you can, you can shoot and boost at the same time. It's not Covenant vehicles. It's not the Covenant hardware where boost can shoot. Nope, 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 nope. Right out of there. Oh, hi, that's me. That's your friends. Really? Weapon free? Okay, and. Yeah, this is still going to be frustrating me a lot. Checkpoint game. Need a checkpoint. Anchor nine to all UNSC fighters. Multiple inbound phantoms. Head straight for our defensive battle. There we go. Checkpoint. Saber teams were marking high value gunboat targets. Now. It doesn't really matter. Like if the phantom attack your targets or not. So we've got incoming ships. We've got incoming heat signatures. Ships, all targets neutralized. Bravo 029er, you are clear to dock. Activating marker. Holland to Bravo 029er. Noble 5, you ready to go? Affirmative, sir. Stop banking on. Here we go. I'm out here, 6. Warning. M spec re entry package disengaged. I need your override. Warning. M spec re entry. 
pressurization complete. Canopy release lever armed. Repeat. Pull up surface grid 19 by 22. Gladly. Only sword base. Set to 18G. Level enhance. Level 5. Your pulse is elevated. There is nothing you can do for Dr. Wolsey and the others inside sword base. The mathematics are determinate. Level 5? Yeah. I know. Look for this lift base drive. Bravo. Go ahead, Colonel. We flagged a Corvette-class vessel on a predicted docking track with our target. We get our makeshift bomb on that Corvette, and we have our delivery system. Noble 5 will escort the bomb. I need your Sabre team to clear the way for boarding. Understood, Colonel. As she's already donated her slip space drive to the cause, Savannah will be joining you to provide local fire support. UNSC Savannah. Our wings may be clipped, but we've got your back. Oh, they're not really... I've stuck my neck out for Noble on this one, Lieutenant. We'll get it done, Colonel. Six out. Like I say, you know, your wings are clipped. I mean, okay, sure. Birds pretty much only would... Birds use their wings all the time to fly, but... Flying long distances, they... Having clipped wings is bad, I guess, but... In this case, having clipped wings isn't going to help the Target program either, but clipped wings are bad in both short and long-range flight. We no, have your wings aren't really clipped. Target confirmed. Like, if wings are not really clipped, the clipped wings means we couldn't even do long, short-distance flights. All right. Frigate Savannah in position. Saber team, sound off. Echo right. one, all systems nominal. Echo two, good to go. Echo three, systems good. Echo four, all systems online. Solid copy. We are currently jamming the Corvette's comms. Hit it hard while it can't call for help. Agreed. Saber teams, clear a path to that Corvette. I get it. I got it. Good thinking, yep, Savannah. That'll make boarding her a whole lot easier. Noble six, I'm marking targets. Take out the Corvette's main engines. Okay, got it, got it, got it, done. Engine destroyed. Yeah, but the wings are not clipped at all. The thing is, it doesn't need those wings to keep flying. They need those wings to escape, to escape from danger, or to escape from to escape long range, but... Where are the reinforcements coming from? I thought the target was jammed. Must be squadrons coming back from patrol, Echo Two. Don't let any of them get away, Sabers. Oh! Ah! Warning. Energy created. Heads up, Sabers. Multiple impulse drive signatures detected. More bogeys incoming. Gotcha. Punk move. Where are the reinforcements coming from? I thought the target was jammed. Must be squadrons coming back from patrol, I go to. Yeah, don't get, don't get too close don't to the side of the, the don't get too close to the Corvette sides or the top. Energy has detected in the Corvette's launch phase. Ah. This is really annoying as well. When you lose your hull like that, your ship spins out of control, it doesn't, doesn't instantly explode. It's like, gives you a few seconds of... No, no, why? Why would you give me a checkpoint here? You only have to die like 5,000 times in order to actually... Ugh. I think it actually, I think it literally rammed into it. <laughs> it 
actually, I think it actually just rammed into the damn gun thing. Yeah, you don't want to get too close to the side of that thing. You always want to stick around the rear of the craft because it's got gun turrets and you can't shoot them down. Yeah, you can't shoot down the side turrets for some reason. Side turrets are going to cause some problems. It's not exactly. Yeah. Alright, run, keep running that way. Okay, Banshee destroyed. Scratch one enemy fighter. There we go, another one destroyed, another one bites dust. And this one bites dust. Scans indicate a structural weakness surrounding a platform on top of the vessel. Noble 6, set down immediately on that Corvette's topside landing pad. Yeah, so you can't, you can't exactly hit the um, turret there. I'm guessing this is uh, where the Banshees and Seratol all land. Re entry pack. Okay, Noble so. 6, the Savannah's countermeasures won't work forever. Find a way inside and permanently disable that cruiser's communications. As soon as we're sure the Corvette can't squawk, we'll initiate uppercut phase 2. Yeah. Phase 2, huh? Yeah, have a sniper rifle. Gotcha. Savannah. Enemy comm relay is now offline. Copy that. Halting countermeasures, diverting all power and personnel to weapons. What's all right, Noble. Let's get that slip space bomb on board. Six, head for the hangar. Yeah, have a rocket launcher. Yeah. Colonel, on our way to the hangar. Noble five, meet him there. Affirmative. On right. approach. Did you? Oh, I've got an engineer in the area. Yeah, engineers, they are they are from ODST. I'm not going to do ODST. <laughs> but engineers, they can generate shields around the covenants in the area. Make it very hard to shoot them. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Finally some... Oh, there's some good fucking weapons. Gotcha. And you ow. Shield yep, and now the atmosphere comes back. Now the atmosphere comes back and walk and walk. Right, jump. Is aboard, Colonel. Copy that. Six, get your fire team to the bridge. The Corvette's refueling run with the supercarrier will have to be initiated manually. Yes, sir. 
Five, stay with the bomb. And discourage the curious. My pleasure. Hear that, Lieutenant? I'll be all by my lonesome back here. Make it quick, would you? Yeah, I'll see what I can do. I aim to please, after all. Noble Six, get that Corvette moving toward the supercarrier. Head for the bridge. Find the nav controls. Alright, we're checkpoint. Assault rifle, and I'm going to take a concussion rifle this time. Looks like the bridge, but let's clear it out. We're going to check one. Yes, here we go. Now, if you're actually, if you're actually sneaky enough, you can kill a whole bunch of covenants. But yeah, you can kill like. I can go, yep, this guy's dead. Here you go, yeet. Yeet this guy. <laughs> And then you get yeeted from, then you get hit from behind. Yeah. I guess it depends on how you want to um, do, do things around here. You not do things in the core. All right, screw it. Screw it. Plan B. Hostile. I see him. No, you don't. They're close. They got. It's, it's literally a dude with camouflage in here. See, soldier. I'm hit. I'm hit. They're literally, dude with camouflage. So you see him, you don't actually see him at all. Nope, I was gonna say, you, you, you survived this long? Nope, he didn't. <laughs> he hasn't. Camouflage there. Fortunately. Oh, cool. Oh, sweet. I have one of those too. I have one of these too. And I'm terrible with them. <laughs> Move, Lieutenant. Put that Corvette on a refueling track to the supercarrier. Alright, can I do it? There we go. Well done, Noble Six. Uppercut initiated. That is underway. Six. Our ride out of here is taking heavy fire. Get back to the hangar. Alright, die. Okay, for some reason that killed me. I mean, it's an overcharged positive shot, but. Six. 
Oh, that right out of here is taking heavy fire. Get back to the hangar. Right, Elite, if you want to, uh, if you want to kill me. You live. You only need to kill me. Get a little lunge or something before I. Yeah. Six. 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 Right out of here is taking heavy fire. Get back to the hangar. Convenience, Noble Six. Oh, geez, man. Mm -hmm. The concussion rifle sucks, by the way. I'm just demonstrating exactly why the, this rifle just kind of sucks. Yeah, have a grenade. Hey, hey, make my friend. It's, it's the grenade. Shield is down. Oh, here we go. Thank you for dying. Alright. Jeez, my marines, my marines suck. If I go to a certain point on the pelican, I can operate the turret. Problem is, I wasn't fast enough. I'm oh, yeah. distracted by, you know, everything else around me. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to climb. game. Here we go. Yeah. I'm 
Here we go. Here we go. Gonna make the turret horn. As you can see, uh, yeah, so a, 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 a certain part of the, um, yeah, a certain part of the pelican, little, here we go. A certain, a certain part of the pelican, you can operate the turret. And it's, and it's dangerous. Weapon. You don't have to actually defend it, there's no health bar. Essentially when they say defend it, it just means survive. Quite a lot of, quite a lot of defense is just survive. Yeah, the reason why I like using the Paladin turret well, is because, you know, it's invulnerable essentially. The turret is not actually a cosmetic card, it's actually a cosmetic that rotates the camera. They got the turret, and you're now, in, you're now in a new little gun turret. I mean, George over there is invulnerable. Now, now that turret's gone, you can get out of it, but then you try and get back in. It's a lot more difficult to get into the turret, because there is no doodad to um, guide you. Possible. Let's get back in. Come on, George. Of course, the problem is, is that you get, you get stuff like this happening where. Yeah, when this happens. Like this one guy right left behind somewhere. George doesn't know how to handle it. And, uh, and, work, and, and, and sometimes it actually is just, mar just uh, elite marksman. Here we go, got him, got him. Down the turret. <laughs> There's the other problem with the turret. The flash. There's a little flash effect, just gonna use it. Area secure, they don't need it, do they? There's one more way. I want to restore my health, thanks, game. Bullshit. Is that all of them? To the damage in the number of the door. There's no way back up to the stable. That was sick. Pull up on me. Uh oh. This ain't good. Distance is closing on this vessel's refueling track with the Covenant supercarrier. 76 seconds to enter. Damn it. So, it's gonna be like that. Good news and bad news. This bird took some fire and I thrust a gimbal is toast, which means the only way off this slag heap is gravity. And the good news? That was the good news. Oh. At current velocity, 53 seconds to end yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh dear. 
Bad news is, time is fried. I'm gonna have to fire it manually. That's a one-way trip. We all make it sooner or later. Better get going, Six. They're gonna need you down there. Listen, Reach has been good to me. Time has come to return the favor. No! Don't deny me this. No! George! The big guy! The Spartan on the team! The Spartan 1! The Spartan 2! Tell him to make it count. No! I can get behind the whole fall of reach thing. I mean, that's exactly when the fall of reach happens. Is a whole bunch of um, you know, a whole, a whole bunch of stuff just, yeah, a whole bunch of covenant ships appear and they start bombarding reach and doing all sorts of stuff. Yeah, gotta hurt. But anyway, up in Stars RJ, and I'll be um having to salvage operations and stuff like that in Exodus. Yeah, and all that next time. Signing off.